The La Follette City Council voted to terminate City Administrator Billy Russell during a 10-minute special call meeting yesterday evening. Russell, who was the first female city administrator for La Follette, has been on sick leave since October of last year after multiple grievances were filed against her, mostly by the La Follette Police Department. As the meeting got underway, Councilwoman Stephanie Grimm made the motion to relieve Russell of her duties and quickly got a second from Joe Bollinger. Councilman Hansford Hatmaker interrupted the vote when he asked about the lack of discussion on the issue. Isn't there supposed to be discussion on this, Hansford asked, before asking the mayor for the floor to speak? Go ahead, Mr. Hatmaker, Mayor Stanfield said. This is too easy to destroy somebody's life by making a motion. Do we want to back up and look at this thing and why you're doing what you're doing, Hansford said. He added that it was a public meeting and that the council needed to have the public involved. You need to let the public know why You people are doing what you're doing, Hatmaker said. He pointed out that the grievances filed against her as he termed it illegal. The council is in charge of policies and procedures. It says right in the police department policies that the chief of police shall report to the city administrator and the council, Hatmaker said. He added that if Police Chief Jimmy Jeffries had an issue with reporting to the city administrator, he should have filed a grievance against the council, not Russell. Hadmaker made accusations Jeffries had forced some of his officers into signing grievances as well. He told them if they did not sign, then it would have an effect on their pay raises, Hatmaker told WLAF after the meeting was over. Though he could not say which officers were allegedly forced to sign, in all, 16 officers signed the grievance against Russell, according to Hatmaker, who said the grievance filed against Russell by Joy Ellison should have been filed against the city's policies as well. So we've got grievances filed against the city administrator that are illegal and the taxpayers are the ones who are going to pay. Down the road, we will pay, Hatmaker said, looking out at the audience. Stanfield asked Hatmaker if he had voted for Russell as city administrator to begin with. No, my son was involved for the position So I voted for him, Hatmaker replied. The issue was put to a vote and Russell was terminated. Grimm, Bollinger, and Stanfield voted yes. Hatmaker voted absolutely no and let the record show no, while Councilman Bob Fannin was absent. Hatmaker said in his opinion the city would end up in court over the termination. I called John Roach in Knoxville at the TML, and he said to not terminate her with her own sick leave, Hatmaker said, after the meeting's close. Stanfield said there was no official plan on replacing Russell yet, but the topic would possibly come up at the next workshop. The Campbell County Board of Education will hold an open public forum to meet with school board members and the director of schools to discuss the extension of the Director of Schools contract on Saturday, January 25th at noon in the Jacksboro Middle School Library. This opportunity is for public input to share its ideas or concerns in regards to the future of education in the Campbell County Schools. The Campbell County Board of Education, February 11th, 2014, regular session meeting will place the item of extending the director of schools contract for action on the agenda. 
Tenova Healthcare announced that it is offering free influenza vaccines on a first-come, first-served basis to the Campbell County community. Free flu shot clinics will be held in the main lobby at La Follette Medical Center. The clinic will be Saturday, January 18th from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. La Follette Medical Center is offering free flu shots to meet a critical need in the La Follette area. Flu shots will be offered to individuals ages 5 and older. Anyone who has not yet been vaccinated this season should get a flu shot. They should get it now. La Follette Medical Center's free flu shot clinics are being offered in coordination with the Campbell County Board of Education thanks to a generous grant from the La Follette Medical Foundation. And today's feature of a local business by Charlotte Underwood is the new state farm agent in town, Tabitha Smith. She recently moved into John Brown's old office on Central Avenue to continue the same tradition of customer service that Brown was always known for. For the past two years since Brown's death, the Central Avenue office has merely been maintaining existing accounts, but that is all about to change as of February 1st when Smith will officially begin taking on new customers and accounts. I'm very excited to carry on the tradition of personal customer service that John was obviously so well known and loved for. Smith said as she watched John's sign taken down and her new one set in place last week, As of the beginning of next month, the office will once again be able to sell insurance policies, assist customers with auto, life, health, and bank products. State Farm's passion is life insurance and making sure people are taken care of and that their families are taken care of if anything happens, said Smith, explaining that her business was not merely about State Farm insurance products, but rather about people. Smith, who comes from the historic Tennessee town of Jonesboro, has purchased some property in Jacksboro with her husband, Tyler. They plan on building a house as soon as possible and becoming permanent residents of the county. She said moving to a new town, an area like Campbell County, and opening an office has always been a dream of hers. She previously worked at a state farm office in Knoxville for the past seven and a half years. The familiar faces of Carolyn Wilson, Anya Wright, and Angie Smolsky are still in the office. Longtime employee Frankie Bacon said she isn't going anywhere anytime soon either. Combined with Smith's expertise, The group brings over 80 years of insurance experience to the table. When something works, don't fix it, Bacon said with a laugh. She also said that she's so happy and excited to have another in the office to begin accepting new customers. I love it here. This place is everything I have ever wanted. The county is beautiful. The people are so friendly. And you just can't beat that, Smith said. To welcome new and old clients, there will be an open house planned at the office on February the 1st. Smith invites the public to come by, say hi, and enjoy some snacks and light refreshments throughout the day. And that's a look at our news. We'll be back in a minute with a press release from the Sheriff's Department. Senior Citizen Insurance, simply the best life insurance for seniors in Tennessee. These days we know you're bombarded with phone, mail, online ads every day trying to sell you insurance. You don't need an oversized insurance policy. You only need enough to cover burial and medical expenses, legal fees, and unpaid bills. You'll breathe easier knowing your family will be protected and your final expenses will be paid. And this insurance is guaranteed. The premium is fixed. It will never go up. The coverage is effective immediately. This insurance is permanent lifetime coverage. Your policy will never go up in cost and will never run out. There's no medical test, no blood test. Just answer a few simple questions and that's it. Senior Citizen 
Christian Insurance has the best prices anywhere. 865-269-4010. 865-269-4010. And tell them Ron sent you. Senior Citizen Insurance has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and has never had a complaint filed against it. Senior Citizen Insurance. Six people have been booked into the Campbell County Jail in the past 24 hours. Jason Dan Franklin Dopel, age 24 of Jellicoe, for violation of probation. 39-year-old Tanya Longmire of East First Street in La Follette, for DUI and violation of the Tennessee financial law. Christopher Lynn McClure, 25, of West Walden Street, La Follette, on a capious bench warrant. 23-year-old Jamie Lee Sexton of Demry Road, La Follette, for theft of property between $500 and $999. Danny Eugene Sneed, 56, of Davis Road, La Follette, for DUI, and failure to maintain control of a vehicle. And last today, Alicia Marie York, 24, of Pleasant Drive, La Follette, for violation of probation and criminal impersonation. And that's a look at the news and the sheriff's report. Stay tuned. Got a lot more coming your way. And please join us tomorrow. We'll be back with the Friday end of the week edition of the news. See you then. We sing happy birthday to you, and may all your dreams come true. Happy, happy birthday. Oh, oh, oh. This is your birthday song. Oh, oh, oh. Celebration all night long. Oh, oh, oh. May all you Hey, Big Josh with you once again on this Thursday evening looking at our birthdays and anniversaries. Our birthday and anniversary club is brought to you by your friends here at WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli. Joseph Marion celebrates a birthday today. Happy birthday, Joseph. And Kristen Rucker, 13 years old. Happy birthday to you, Kristen. Uh, Kelly England is having a birthday today. Happy birthday, Kelly. Joe Berry celebrates today. Happy birthday to you, Joe. And Megan Enman is 27 years old today. And hey, David and Bess Stout. Husband and wife share birthdays. Happy birthday to David and Bess. We hope you all have a good day. We hope all of you have a good day. And yesterday, we have some belated birthdays for you. Matthew Day, Oma Jones, and Elmer Campbell. Happy belated birthday to Elmer, Oma, and Matthew. And we hope you all had a good day. Now, if you're celebrating your birthday or your anniversary today, and for some reason we don't have your name, hey, please get that in here because that's the only way that you can qualify to be in the drawing that we hold on Friday, and you would be eligible to win a birthday dinner for two or an anniversary dinner for two from your friends here at WLAF and Eastside Pizza and Deli. They're located in the Food Lion Center. Hey, see you tomorrow, good Lord willing.